hey y'all and welcome to a brand new day y'all so basically i'm at the new house right now and i am in the driveway the time right now is 9:57. it's almost 10 o'clock y'all i am actually out and about early because well i'm always out early anyway but yeah i want to go to walmart to get this mirror that i seen um better home and garden got this mirror right and it's like the arch mirror and it's like 60 inches high 30 inches wide yeah <laughs> i was gonna get it yesterday but i was getting father's day gifts by the way today is father's day so happy father's day to all the fathers out there but yeah we about to go get it this morning okay so we about to go get it this morning so i'm super excited i'm gonna show you guys we're gonna go to walmart pick it up and then bring it back to the new house and then i'm gonna show y'all how it look it's so cute y'all but welcome to a new vlog let's go ahead and get started this is the mirror right here super super cute like i said it's by better homes and garden and this is how it looks so cute and the price they're going for is i think 85 which is not bad y'all it's big and they got the gold ones too if you guys can see right okay so now y'all see what i was now y'all see what i was geeking and then they got the black one i said let me get this black one so we're gonna get this one um i'm excited i'm excited so yeah that's how it looks and then we're gonna load it in the car but they're going to get like one of those big carts for me so yeah but like i said they got it in the gold they got it in the gold and then they also have it in the black so yeah Okay, love, so we are back at the house right now. Um, and y'all, I put the mirror inside of the living room. Y'all, it looks so cute. It looks so cute. Like, are you kidding? Like, how cute is this? Oh my goodness, y'all. So, um, if you guys don't know, I plan on putting this mirror inside of the living room, just like in the corner. And I just feel like this is the vibes. And this corner is probably the corner I'll put it in. So like even so like if I put it in this corner and then like even like over here, I can have an entryway or just like whatever. But what I love about this mirror is that I'm able to see my whole entire body. You know what I'm saying? And it just gives like now I think my other one I see my whole entire body, but this one, I don't know, I just feel like I like this one better. I feel like, I just feel like I like this one better. Like, and then it's just like, I've always wanted one of these and y'all, I just cannot believe this mirror was literally $85. And as you guys can see, it is a 30 by 60 full length by Better Home and Garden. So y'all, <laughs> love that. And y'all see the vibes? Yeah, those are the vibes. Matter of fact, those are the vibes those are the floors <laughs> that's how i'm trying to come but yeah total was about um i think the total was like 91 dollars. so yeah but so far this is how it looks in the living room and i actually got it for the living room so and to me it just makes sense because i just love what it's given and then on top of that, like, let me scoot back here. So, if y'all see, y'all can see where it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I can have something on this wall, and I can have the furniture going this way, fireplace, whatever I choose, but I just love what it gives when it's actually in the corner. So yeah, comment, let me know what you guys think. I'm actually in the room, right? So y'all know this is my room and and I put the mirror here. I, I'll show you how it look. But I was wanting to see how big and take measurements of the room because obviously y'all know I don't have the biggest room, but it's not the smallest. It's the nice size. And for me, I didn't necessarily want to 
pass on the house because the room was not super huge because y'all know the room that i'm in now is actually not even that big so and this room is supposed to be a little bigger than that room so it i mean it don't look like it but <laughs> when i measured it it was actually bigger than the room that i'm currently living in now bars of the house so so what i wanted to do was measure with my um with my measuring tape i wanted to measure to see if I was to get it now, another thing too, as you guys know, the other room has a um, king bed. Girl, I had the nerve to put a king bed in there. <laughs> so like, it really looks small. Um, and so we're we're basically done with the king bed. So what I want to get now is a queen bed, and I'm gonna show y'all the one that I was thinking about. Yeah. Um, it keeps going up and down on prices, but I'm gonna show y'all the one that I wanna get. Um, yeah. So I wanna get, and this is a queen. So basically the kind of bed that I wanna get, I wanna get a cream bed. I don't think I want a black bed. I don't think I want a gray bed anymore. I am all about the neutral tones more than anything now. Don't get me wrong. Y'all know black is never going to not be used in any of my homes that I buy. Um, black will always be um, a factor in my houses. But um, I still want to do black. But I think when it comes to my bigger pieces, like my living room furniture, my bed, etc. I'm pretty sure I want those pieces to be a light color cream so this is the bed that i want to get i'm gonna let it focus see like this is the bed that i want in a queen as you guys can see super super cute you see what i'm saying so like so if y'all picture the mirror and y'all picture the bed y'all probably get an idea of the vibe that i'm pretty much going for now at this point in my life um the other house was more about black and white or black white and gray and gold this house i feel like i want it to be more about light creams blacks not even necessarily grays but really like light cream black and white almost like not really yeah just like those colors but so it says this bed is Dude, it's got black legs. Let me see. So this has black legs. And they got it in the gray, but I wouldn't even. So the queen. So the queen bed is 63 inches long. Wow. <laughs> Let's see how big this is. Okay, so this is my room. Let's see. Let's see how big it is. So up and down, my bed up and down. So up and down, it is about, so it's 129, it's, it's about 10 feet it's about 10 fair, it's about 10 square feet so it's 129 inches going this way it's 129 inches going this way and then going this way it's about 152 so it's 152 width and I believe it's 129 height. Let's see. 152 by 129. So it's 152 going this way. The queen bed said it was, so the headboard on the queen bed, it 
it says the queen bed is 63.8 in 84 long so so let's say 64 in 85. the queen bed length is about 85 inches okay so the length of the queen what that's that's it well it's still kind of long okay so the queen bed would be about the queen bed would be about 85 inches like right here this would be the queen bed right here. It'll come down this far. Okay, I should have a little room. It'll come down this far, which is about 85 inches. And then, you know, width of the bed will be 65. Let me make sure. The fact that I gotta keep looking at this phone, like, what is wrong with me? Yeah, so the width would be 64. So that's only, so the width of the queen would be 64. Okay, y'all, so this is actually how my room is looking. As you can see, like it's small, but it's not too small. You know what I'm saying? And then this is actually how the mirror looks as well. I think the mirror looks really good. I may even get one for my room. But so far, yeah, I want the mirror in the living room. But this is how big my room is. And then when you turn this way, and this is how it looks from this way. Just a reminder of how big the room is and just, you know, the type of space that we're actually working with. So, yeah. I want you guys to comment and let me know like am I exaggerating or is it fine like I said it's not too small it's big enough for me okay it's big enough for me and then we have the ceiling fan up here but super cute what I loved about this house was just the cleanness of it and yeah but y'all see why I like these walls already right okay <laughs> so y'all see why I like these walls already because they already got like a neutral color but this is how the mirror looks in my room as you guys can see super cute so as you guys can see we can also put a mirror inside of here and still put a bed back on this wall over here if we choose to because I'm not gonna lie more than likely those are the vibes for me personally okay I'm like curtains all the way up headboard you hear me like put some right there if I wanted to and honestly it don't even have to be a full size as a matter of fact I have this nice thing well not nice thing you guys know I have a dresser but I think what I want to do instead of doing that like I feel like I want to put like a little cute chest or something right here just simple but modern but I think the full like um I think the full length um Ikea dressers I'm just not into anymore that's the one that I have right now and it's it's kind of big and bulky. It's cool, but I feel like I don't think that's going to be the vibe. So it's a lot of stuff that I'm giving away that I may not even be able to sell because I don't like people coming to my home. So I'm not going to do like probably Facebook marketing and all that. I may just give it away to a family member or something like that. But yeah, I just want to start fresh. Um, I'm not getting rid of everything, but definitely for my new sale and how I want things to go and look. Um, it's going to require change. So... And I'm here for change. And that's in all aspects of my life. Relationships, everything. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Comment, let me know what you guys think. And what do you guys think about a queen bed going in here? And what do you guys think about the mirror? And just give me some ideas on different pieces I could put in here without putting, like, big and bulky pieces. Because, obviously, I'm putting a queen bed, not a king. Because a king will take up too much space. Um, and that's what I have now, which I'm getting rid of. But comment and let me know, like, what are some good pieces you guys think I can put in here that don't have to be so bulky because I'm trying to just have as much room as I can in here. And I think the queen is definitely the way to go. So comment and let me know. Hey so we are actually at the house and I'm actually going to a family function and they want to see my dad to so give him his gift. 
I want to show you guys what I'm wearing. I got this really cute um, yellow mustard dress from Sheen. And then we're going to head out for today. So this is the dress that I am wearing today. It is this really cute um, mustard yellow Sheen dress. And it actually has pockets in it as well. It's actually by the Sexy Sheen um, collection. Really cute. And then the back is like out. Um, but I just love the fact that it has pockets. And it's actually flowy at the bottom. Super cute. Um, like I said, we are going to a little gathering today so yeah then i have on this really cute necklace right here chain necklace that i got from target and then my regular necklace from every day my coach bracelet and my little ring so this is the outfit and then i have some little black slides in the car and i think i'm gonna go ahead and wear my um Saint Laurent bag and yeah and then my glasses are actually in there so this is the fit super cute want you guys to comment and let me know now let's head out. Okay, y'all, so we are now in the car, and I actually got my dad's gift. Um, and then I got this cute little card right here. What kind of card look? That's how the card looks. Super cute. It says, for you, Dad, you've always been there for us, no matter what, surrounding us with a father's love. And for that, you always will be loved so much in return. Happy Father's Day. I just thought this was so cute. And then I feel like the little picture up here just kind of remind me of like me and my brothers because I'm like the only girl and I'm the oldest girl. Little cute bag I had got up from Walmart, y'all. It's so cute. But if y'all ain't hip, like it's this soap that um everybody be using, um the Cremo Heritage, y'all. This is so bomb. I had got them this soap right here. It smells so good. I got them this soap, and then this is in the Fresh Timber, and then they also had the cologne, and I was like, ah oh, yeah, I gotta get him the cologne. So I had got him the cologne for men in the spiced amber super cute and then i had got him a little um looper right here this is actually what he'll use for like his body wash i highly recommend if you guys use the liquid body wash these just like lather so so good so that's what i got him with his little card and we already signed it super cute now i'm about to go to my auntie house because we're gonna all gather over there i'm gonna give him his gift and i think i'm gonna stop and probably get some more food Cause she wants to bring something so but we just left walgreens grabbing some little chips and pop and stuff so yeah i'll see you guys in a minute <laughs> you can get in you can get in i'm not okay y'all so we are now here at my auntie's house and i'm about well, to actually get my daddy his gift so Ooh. yeah um mama i'm about to get daddy his gift come on you gotta record i don't remember that go record Put your card mm. first. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> That's your card. I know you like brown, so I just feel like, you know. Mm -hmm. You've always <laughs> been here for us, mm -hmm. no matter what. Surrounding us with father love, with, with a father's love. Mm -hmm. And for that, you will always be loved. So much in return. Happy Father's Day. Love your daughter. Mm -hmm. Love your papa. <laughs> yeah, you get <laughs> Yeah, we love you, Daddy. Yep. Yes. So cute. You like your card? Yes, love it. Yes. I think I still got the other card you gave me, too. Yeah. I know you Those love a good card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. People, yeah. No, for real, though. Mm-hmm. What else down in there? What else yeah. you got? Yeah, I that over. I'm sorry. <laughs> that smells smell like delicious. Cologne. Period. Yeah. I know yeah. what you like. <laughs> I know what you like. And one of these two. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you need yeah, for liquid babe. soap. Yeah. <laughs> we need to, I'm going to yeah. need to uh -huh. need some cologne. Yep. The matching cologne to go with it. So it probably oh. smells almost. It's the matching one. Yeah. You know, you already yeah, know how I'm coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cream on. Yeah. Okay. Be careful opening. Yep. Come on. Hold on, T. I'm not recording. Oh, okay. Look, he can't wait oh, to spray it. Look, I knew he was about to mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me know what it smells like. Okay. Mm-hmm. What it smell like? Mm. Mm-hmm. Smell like heaven, don't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Yay. You deserve that, yep. Oh, yeah, that smells great. Mm-hmm. Don't yes. it? Yes, that was a good choice. You like that, Eddie? Yes, thank you. Okay, you? so we got baby girl right here. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hi, vlog. Um, uh huh. What do you want to say? First off, you want to do a little outfit of today? Okay. Dress this. Sheen. Okay. Dress some sheen. Okay. My white sandals. White sandals. Okay. Okay. Let me see your nails. My hand ashy. <laughs> okay. You looking cute. Okay. Hair done by. 
Mel, Monty Mel. Monty Mel, you want to turn around so they can see? Braids, real cute, real cute, okay. All right, you looking real cute. Thank you. So yeah, we out here. Um, and I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of my auntie's house because it's kind of goes for real. But I still appreciate what I got, okay. It's my little food I got y'all. I got a piece of chicken, some buffalo chicken dip, some tortilla chips, and a hot dog. Y'all, so we are here right now um, at our little table. I'm glad the wind is kind of blowing a little bit, y'all, because it is hot. Like, it's a little hot, but I'm just eating my little food real quick. I want to give y'all a tour of the house. Um, I want to give y'all a tour because I, I, I like the inside of her house. And, um... I like the uh, outside too, but she got like a huge, huge um, yard with like kids stuff, all type of cabanas and everything, so it's super cute. But I'll probably show y'all the inside, but right now we just chilling or whatever. Um, got my food. I'm, I'm getting a little tired, but I think I think when it be like heat, excessive heat, I think it makes me sleepy. You too? Mm-hmm. You too? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> But I just got my little Hawaiian punch right here. Y'all yeah, think of some hot dogs and um. You know that baby. <laughs> <laughs> we took these pictures right here. Okay, so I'm about to eat. See y'all in a minute. Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new day. So I do have a new home appliance. We do have a dehumidifier. If you guys know anything about dehumidifiers, they are just very nice for any type of household. So I'm very excited for this because you guys know that I have a basement and I would like to get just like excess moisture out, etc. So I end up getting this dehumidifier from this company, Cree Village. This is their dehumidifier. This is actually the 45 pint. Also, it covers up to 3,500 square feet and it has a 24 hour timer on it with a digital panel so i'm super excited and then it also has a um drain hose as well and i believe it automatically drains um so we do have like a hole in the basement where we can actually put the drain hose for like water when it actually sucks up any moisture etc so i'm very excited to unbox this this is actually the white one 
think it's white and black um but we're gonna go ahead and unbox this i'm gonna give you guys some more details like i said they do have an amazon store and it's called free village and i will have all the links below and then i also have a coupon code as well that is going to be added as well so let's go ahead and get started and get her opened up so guys about this village dehumidifier it is able to cover up areas up to 3500 square feet this dehumidifier is able to remove 45 pints to 50 pints under 90 degrees of moisture a day with its powerful capabilities the air humidity can be decreased by 80 percent to make a comfortable 30 percent swifty their dehumidifier provides a reliable solution to combat excess moisture in basement, bathroom, laundry room, bedrooms, living rooms, or any other space up to 3,500 square feet. Make it your partner in maintaining optical humidity levels in your home. This dehumidifier for basements has a digital control panel for easy operation. Its LED display also means a quick and precise humidity level readout. Other key features like customization, humidity settings, also has a 24-hour timer, Auto defrost, child lock in a three mode, auto mode, continuously dehumidifiers, mode, sleep mode, and multi-speed fan offers a more convenience for you. Also with this dehumidifier, you also get a one year warranty for your parts and your labor. It includes a flexible draining option, easily empty the included tank, which is 1.72 gallons. When it's full or simply connect the standard hose, which is 3.3 feet to the built-in socket for gravity fed continuously draining. When using manual drainage, the dehumidifier for home will shut off automatically when the bucket is full and switch on again after the bucket is empty. Meanwhile, a washable filter preserves air quality without expensive replacement parts. Also guys, this dehumidifier is also compact and quiet. So basically you can roll this around your house. It's very quiet and it features 360 rotation wheels and it has a handle where it's easy to carry for any type of space in your home. And it's also equipped with a 48 dB noise level. So this dehumidifier for your basement 50 pint won't disrupt your daily life. This dehumidifier is actually energy saving, which is amazing because as you guys know, I have an all electric house. So basically this dehumidifier has a lower power consumption, keeps your home at a proper humidity level so you guys see where it was red that means it's a lot of moisture when it's red and then when it turned green it's starting to take the moisture out of the air and i've never had a dehumidifier and so far it's working amazing and i love the fact that it has the light indicator that helps you let you know how much humidity that you have actually in your house and how much you need to get out which is very very nice so i do have a 10 percent off discount code and the code is fr 62 k RQ7 for 10% off so you guys can get your first dehumidifier by Free Village and I want to thank Free Village for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, it is a few days later and I do want to show you guys um, this new light fixture that I ended up getting from Lowe's. Now as you guys know we had a hallway light in the hallway but it was like a silver color. I think I was telling you guys that in the last video. So when I went to Lowe's the other day I seen this um, matte black real cute like lantern light so this is how it looks um it says for like outdoors but i'm bringing it in the house <laughs> but this is how it looks right here it says it's by dark sky and it says it is a portfolio outdoor i'm assuming that's the brand so this is how it looks now this light was about 25 24.99 um and it's like a lantern. And like I said, what really attracted me to it was that it was matte black, obviously. Um, but I wanna see how it actually looks. So I'm gonna try to see if my cousin will put it up for me so I can just see how it looks real quick. Um, update on the walls. Um, so the walls are done being sanded. Um, we're actually caulking right now. And ideally, what I would love is <laughs> I would love to start painting, not me paint, but have um my workers start painting probably sunday or monday so that's the goal and today is actually saturday so it's the weekend we're working but yeah it's just been so much going on especially just like being a woman having to watch out for myself you know dealing with different type of like workers and all that so it's just been a lot going on and i'm just being real careful about who i bring into my home my space everything so I know that you guys, this girl asked me, um, how do I go about finding like contractors and stuff? 
um and it's just really like word of mouth in my city or like um i go on this app called thumb tap um is where i found the guy who did my drywall um but and then they also got angie's list so if you guys are looking for like um contractors to do like any type of work i would suggest going to those websites first and then probably like go to like your local like word of mouth or like somebody knows somebody or whatever but that's how i've been doing like i went to thumbtack for my drywall being hung and then like i got other people to like finish things and you know paint and stuff like that that i knew or like i knew of you know but anyways about this light that i ended up getting from lowe's the other day like i said this is a black lantern light and i thought it was really really cute um and basically this is how it looks i just thought this was so cute um it kind of reminded me of like the wall sconces but it's just like a lantern light this is actually how it looks in the inside this is how it looks at the bottom and this is the electrical that goes in the back now what i love about this is that it's square so like it's gonna sit on a wall like and just look really chic um it is in a matte black um and I just thought this was perfect. And I feel like it just kind of, like, look how cute. Like, say this is not so gorgeous. Like, that's gonna be so cute, like, up on a wall. Can y'all see it? That's gonna be cute. Anyways, y'all, I love this. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all how it looks um, in the hallway because like I said, we um we took the other one down because we had to do the drywall back there. So we took the other one down but this is gonna be the new light for the hallway so what i like about this light is that i can either face it down or i can face it up me personally i was thinking about maybe facing it up just because it's already like kind of a dark light um so but the good thing is that the hallway is actually not that big it's actually not that big so i think it's enough light for my hallway um but super super cute as you guys can see it's like a circle um lantern um yeah i'm excited i'll show you guys how it looks in the hallway and then i'll show you guys what we doing to the baseboards like i said we caulking the baseboards you guys know that i still want to get my floors and stuff done but right now we caulking the baseboards but i don't know if so okay y'all let me tell y'all okay so what I wanted to do was be Superwoman. That's the problem. Um, I wanted to actually get my floors done and my walls done before I went out the country. But y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all, <laughs> we can plan things, but like, I feel like when it comes to dealing with people um, and just workers and like timing and you know, my personal life and all that, um, it has just been very, it has been very hard um but i just been trying to keep it moving and get things done safely but yeah it has just been very just it has been quite a journey just trying to um hit things at a certain deadline or whatever but the fact of the matter is is that <laughs> um i don't have to try to do everything at one time it's very overwhelming and I think that's what and I think that's really what I've been trying to do um and I think also too just my drive and just my dedication and just my motivation that really um that really keeps me going and that keeps me thriving okay y'all so this is the spot right here I was telling y'all about we actually put a piece of drywall right here to just kind of make it more seamless um instead of going around it so this is the box and then I'm going to have somebody put it up here just to see how it looks. Um, and I want to see how the light looks as well. So, But the light is going to go in this hallway right here. So let's get started. And then, I feel like it's cute for like a little hallway. Like, it ain't too much light. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, just like that. It's cute. Man, it's kind of dark. It is kind of dark. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a light bulb. Yeah, it is yeah, a light bulb. So. You need to get a daylight light bulb. Yeah. Yeah, I thought. I would probably. I would yeah. point it I like up. this though. Yeah. yeah, I like it up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it up. Little, yeah. Mm hmm. I like it up too. Because then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. Um, yeah. Let me see. Okay, y'all. We have a Amazon unboxing. 
and this gift is from Yolanda Michelle. So it says, Yvonne, congratulations on your new home. I love watching you, and I look forward to seeing how you design your new space. Sorry for the late arrival. I'm on vacation and didn't realize <laughs> you hadn't received the gift um, from Yolanda Mitchell. Thank you, Yolanda, for the gift. Um, this is actually a HGN glass rinser for the kitchen sink glass cup washer. So I'm excited because I've never had one of these and I was actually not expecting this gift because it wasn't on my list. But I love the fact that she just kind of went out her way and just she's seeing something that she feel like I can use. Um, Cause I, you guys know that I'm always rinsing glasses. So this is actually how it looks. And this is how it comes, okay. Um, and let's go ahead and get her open. So, I'm very excited. I think it's, um, oh, oh, oh not, this is so nice. Okay, y'all. This is actually a matte black rinser. I'm very excited. This is how it looks. And when you press it down, that's how you rinse your dishes. Y'all, this is so exciting. It's a matte black and when you put it, when you put it on the sink, the water runs out of here once you rinse. I'm super excited for this. Now I'm trying to think, do I got a glass? I don't know, but we're gonna test it out today. But this is how it looks. And super cute, matte black. And then it also comes with the um, cord for up under the sink. I love this, y'all. This is really cute. And it, um, it looked like this right here is actually how the water comes out when you press it down. And it's matte black. Thank you, Miss Yolanda. I love this. We're about to go ahead and get this installed real quick, y'all. Super cute, matte black. Um, I want you guys to comment and let me know if you guys have something like this. And let's head to the kitchen. And I need to show you how the light look. Y'all look so cute. So let's go. Okay guys, so the first thing I wanna show you is the hallway light. This is how it looked. This is a lantern. I actually got it going towards the ceiling because I feel like it gives more light. But it's just like a gloomy type. But I feel like the type of light that it is, I feel like it's perfect for this hallway in particular, in my opinion. Um, it's not too bright and it's not too dark. Now, the thing is too, is that it's brighter lights out. It's, it's brighter lights out there. So if I wanted to get a different bulb that was brighter, That'll be perfect too, but yeah, so far, this is how it looks. And then that is how the light looks. It looks super cute. I'm loving it. And then this is how it looks from this end over here. So yeah, um, like I said, I just feel like it makes more sense that it's up. But then again, I'm like, how would it look down? But on the pictures, it's going up and I feel like by it going up, it just kind of like gives all the lights up at the ceiling, you know? I don't know, hopefully that makes sense. But um, then I'll turn this light on and this is how it looks with this light on. So yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Super cute. And I'm pretty sure this is the light that I want to go for. It looks so good. Oh, well, oh my God, I just thought about something. Oh, I just thought about some y'all. Y'all know when I think about some, I get so excited. So I was just thinking like, right? So I could be being extra, but I'm like, should I put like a mirror right here? Like, um, or like, I ain't gonna put no shelves, but like if I had like a mirror right here, which I do got that black one. I'm like, how would that look if I put a mirror right here? I think that look cute. Comment, let me know. Um, but yeah. I think it's super cute. Comment, let me know. Um, now let's get into this. Um, let's get into this washer though, y'all. Okay, so this is the glass rinser. And y'all, it is so bomb. So basically, we just press this down and we rinse our um, glasses. So shout out to Yolanda for gifting me this 
for my house. I'm very excited. When my cousin seen it, he was like, oh, I'm about to give me one of them. I ain't even know that exists. So, yeah, thanks, Miss Lady, because I didn't know it exists either. <laughs> and to you, gifted it to me. So, I'm going to show y'all how this works. So, hold on. Okay, so as you guys see, we have the rinser. But let me give you guys a close-up. So, this is how the rinser look. And basically, the water comes out of here when you rinse your dishes. So, let's go ahead and do a rinse test real quick. Let me see. I, mm, is this too close? This one, oh, I do not. Okay. So, yeah, we can do a little rinse test right here. So, I'm going to show you guys how it actually works. Um, you can do your coffee, glasses, your mugs, but basically this has um, some um, holes in it and this is where the water comes out and then this kind of spins. Um, but basically all you do is you take your glass and you just press it down and then it, you know, make sure this is so yes. Oh my God. Oh, this is so cute. And then you rinse your glass. And that's how it will look. Now, I do have this um, hooked up to the hot water because it just made sense to me because I feel like hot water just kind of is better. So, that's how that works. And then we have a bigger one. And then this is how this one works. And as you can see, it goes right to the bottom. You can press on it more for like a harder rinse. But yeah, super cute. Love that. Never had one of those. And I just feel like it's perfect because I'm always constantly rinsing my glasses before I use them. Um, it's just a habit. But yeah, love this. Super cute. Um, and I will have this link below if you guys are interested in this. Thank you, Miss Yolanda, for the rinser. And I just feel like it just go perfect with my um, little... Um, Y'all know what this is called, right? I forgot. Let me think. My faucet. Yeah, I think it go real good with my faucet. Um, and yeah, I think it looks really cute. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think. And it's like perfect. And I just love that it's like, it ain't doing too much either. Like, I feel like if I wanted to, I could still sit like my soap right there. But to be honest, I feel like I probably want to put my soap over here. I'm just used to it. Like, I'm just used to it being on the right side because I'm right-handed. But just to make it, like, not as cluttered. But ain't that a look, though, y'all? Look at that. Ain't that cute? I love it. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, y'all. So, we about to um, paint the rooms. We got everything um, sitting out here. And we got everything in here sitting out. So I'm about to go ahead and get started. Probably in a hallway first. But uh, yeah.
Hello, hi, good morning. <laughs> um, it is actually Monday. And the reason why I came on camera, well, first of all, I'm about to close out, but I wanted to show you guys how the house is looking right now. Um, my painter did, um, he did prime the house yesterday. Um, he's going to probably do like one more coat of primer by Kiehl's. And then I think we're going to actually put the color on, but I do want to show you guys the color. Um, but I'll show you guys how to paint look probably in the next video, but I'll show you guys how it looks right now. This is how the um, living room is looking right now. Um, like I said, he did prime, and but I know I want to at least get like one more coat of primer because I don't want to see nothing behind the uh, primer. So I think I'll do like one more coat, but um, he did prime. He's doing a really good job so far as well. Um, so this is how you know, the living room looks right now. Um, you guys can probably still see like a little bit of the drywall behind the primer. Like that's what I mean when I say like, so this is two coats of primer, but I at least need about three, maybe even four. Cause I want everything covered. Even though I know we still got a paint and it's like two more coats probably of like the paint that I'm gonna use, but still I just want these walls to be completely white. Um, so um, this is the living room. And then he did go ahead and do the dining room, if you guys don't know, or if you're new here, um, I did get drywall put up in my living room, my dining room, and in my um, hallway ceiling because it had textured walls. This is an old house, and this is how this looked. But like I said, we're going to have to get some more primer on here. Even if the paint do cover it, I still want it to be completely white. And then over here, this is how this is looking. Okay looks pretty good so far and then in here in the hallway this is how the hallway looks right now so the hallway looks pretty good i just love the white look but like i said i would not really do white walls because it's just too white i feel like some type of neutral color just really um makes it kind of stand out but also we got the ceiling done as well i'm not sure if i showed y'all the paint color but just in case, hold on, did I, I, I think I did, but let me just, let me show y'all how it looks on a piece of drywall. Um, this right here is the paint color. Hope you guys can see that. But it's like a very like neutral tone color. And this is how it's gonna look. Can y'all see that? Let me see. I could probably see a little more. But this is how it's going to look. This color right here. It's like a neutral color. Um, and I feel like it's more neutral than the other ones that I chose. So this is the color. Um, today he's going to probably finish painting. Um, I would like to get the floors done before I leave. But I'm not going to stress myself. If I get them done when I come back from, the, um, from my birthday trip. Then that's cool too. Because um, my birthday is July 2nd, which falls on a Sunday, which is the Lord's Day. Thank you, Jesus. So, in the next vlog, you guys will probably see me preparing for that. Um, and then also just doing like little um, home updates and stuff like that. But um, basically, the walls are pretty much done. We just got to finish painting with the um, finish color. And yeah. Um, yeah. And then you guys already seen like the update on the kitchen sink. Um, and. The light in the hallway that we got which i love so so much so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog y'all it took me so long to get this video out y'all because i've been so busy but i'm like i know my girls is waiting on me like let me put this content out because yeah sometimes i can overthink it but i know like y'all just like put it out like period um so that's everything i love you guys i want you guys to comment let me know how do you guys see the house is coming so far um about you know far as with like the black accents the color it was um that i chose um, and just everything that we done did. Um, also the hallway light. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. So I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.